they were never, ever that close to the fucking coast. All the flags coast. waving on the streets. We'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride. Right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Herr Hitler. What is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, ein, ein! Ich sag dir, beweg dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Palina, see if she's all honey. Da, it's because of the car. It's not visual. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals, office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. Tell you a story. I have spoken with the Führer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Führer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress, or unfavorable conditions your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. I would like to see for myself. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. We must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. 
Take care of them with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But the other teams like this one. How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you. Herikta. I understand. Thank you. So. We have our friends beim the Schloss, you tough! Ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a bus. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade, but they haven't caught him yet. I told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it, but the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. That's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Alina, I don't know. Use the knives, you can use them. Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. Particularly when it came to Petrova. Apulia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. All those teaching me how to shoot. I'm wasted. Stuck in the med tent. Pastor. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodging. Glory is worth nothing when you're dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. Visha, mm. what you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. Our cameras already know how to drink. These will be Molotovs. Sir. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? Pasha. You worry too much. What? The what? Spend time with your family. What? Not to be a little on yet. Ouch, sister. That hurts. Eh, you did that well enough yourself. The plechka. Durin. Pigushka. Kazyol. Save both of you. 
I'm going to be late. Sit! Now oh, there. Isn't that nice? <laughs> A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know, you're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papasha. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No. They told me that's not what I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice on the map. At least you get to fight! Oh, don't tell me at least, you! Fight it! You're both doing your part. Which reminds me... If any of those two can get past you... You know where to send them. <laughs> of course, Papa. <laughs> They will never get through. Never. Flynn! I need to run. They're waiting for me. Miss, you're... Fox. I swear, he would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on my way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Uh, okay, so now I have to carry him. I see stuff I can interact with him. Take Molotov cocktails. Okay. We should replace your old chair. Never. It's comfy enough for me. <laughs> Misha and I were so little in this photo. Seems like just yesterday. So many impressive medals, Papa. It's your mother. She always insisted we display them. So he used to serve as well. It's been a while since I played this. You were a natural. Ah, I miss hearing you play. Okay, so let us. It's safe continue. out there. No promises. I have a feeling this is gonna be the last time she sees her home. Don't tell me you're trying to push it up. Okay. So much crap in Not if you're after fighting. Milly boy, the new partisans I'm training will crush them before they get close. I believe it. Well, it luck where are you there. going? He's right here. Yeah. Something smells and good over here. Map, map oh, Paulina, I saved a loaf for your family. Spasiba. <laughs> you're welcome. And your father has been bothering me for some borrowed Of course he has. I'll come by and grab it later. Be safe at work, Paulina. Okay, I saw him running this way. Okay, there he is, yeah. Forget something? You're a lifesaver. I know. We should be good. Yeah. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Army tabaki. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wouldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we can't trade places. I would look great in that uniform. At least try to make it back from your bomb making. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. No? Yes, no. <laughs> You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself what? killed climbing around up there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, go on you. I'm late. I'm gonna have to take the rooftops. Are you, are you, are you insane? 
Where do I, oh, okay. What, so is this freaking Assassin's Creed all of a sudden? I'm assuming I go this way. Good morning. Morning, Paulina. How is your father's leg? Finally improving. Thanks. Have you been hearing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, there we are. Okay. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay. Okay, I see what she means by take the rooftops. This is... Wow. This is probably most definitely quicker. Oops. But it's gonna take uh, substantially much more effort. <laughs> a little too hard. Oh, you're joking. Around the medical core. There we go. I'm gonna show up. I'm just gonna be covered in mud and dirt and sweat. The medical officer will assign your duties. She's down the other side of the track. Mitsistra Petrova, we'll need you down by the first stand. Plenty of men that need catching up today. Go ahead, join the others. Oh, bombers. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. I, you know, I, I need to stop looking. Hey, the truck's, uh, truck update. Oh, shit. Uh, I guess I'm taking the rooftops again. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, go fuck yourself, man. Come on. Come on, man. I don't need to do this one. What's up? He told you you were going to get yourself killed. Shoot. Just stand there and fucking ruin, girl. Oh, okay. You help your country more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Okay, no, this isn't. Hey! Get back inside, Major! That was a German, wasn't it? Crouch and move quickly through calls. Yeah. 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 
What have you done? You have to leave Stalingrad. Now. Okay. Like what? I don't, okay, there <laughs> They'll never make it into the city. Flush out the Russian vermin! Round them up! You Nazi blasters will kill you all! That was a mistake, old man! Oh, no. I, I knew as soon as he was like started I was like okay now that we're not gonna see him again take the rifle damn it Requiem? You'll never take the model on you, Oblowski! Shut your mouth! We've already taken the This freaking gun is really cool. Thanks for the ammo though. Alright, but Oh shit, I didn't actually I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see that guy. Pretty sure it got one to the right. Let's go see Papa. Oh no, he's dead. I was thinking that maybe he might still be slightly barely alive. Oh no, he is alive. Okay. But I mean he's dead, so. I should have been here for Basha. Which one I met, Misha's already dead. Tell mom I'm off to save Misha. As usual. <laughs> 